Hey, this is Jeff, and some of my friends and quite a few YouTubers have said the Brotherhood filling the Pridwin with hydrogen, uh, like the Hindenburg, instead of helium, like the Goodyear blimp, is stupid to the point of making Fallout 4 unbelievable. But it actually makes a lot of sense when you look at their properties. First off, hydrogen gas produces twice as much lift as an equal volume of helium. Even with the extra safety equipment you'd have to have on board, hydrogen lets you carry significantly more troops and materiel. Now, if it were just a trade-off between lift and safety, you still might want to go with helium. But it isn't. There's also a huge difference in availability. Despite there being enough helium for blimps and party balloons today, it's actually pretty rare on Earth. It only makes up a few parts per million in the atmosphere, and extracting it on an industrial scale would be extremely difficult for the Brotherhood. Hydrogen, on the other hand, is everywhere. To produce it, you just need to run an electric current through water. Irradiated water is fine, and if there's one thing that isn't in short supply in the Fallout universe, it's power. Well, except when it's convenient to the plot, but bottom line, you don't need Liberty Prime power levels. You could produce enough hydrogen to fill the Pridwin with your spare microfusion cells. So maybe you're thinking, yes, but the Hindenburg. There's your case study in technology versus risk. Well, we know that knowledge of pre-war events is incomplete at best in the 23rd century, so it's very possible the Brotherhood never even heard of the Hindenburg or didn't realize what a shocking tragedy it was to the people at the time. And even if they did, technology really can mitigate that kind of risk. I drive around every day on top of 12 gallons of insanely flammable liquid that could completely incinerate me if it went off, and I don't think twice about it because a century of improvements in automotive engineering have made cars infinitely safer than they were 100 years ago. But here's the kicker. If there's one faction that personifies technological hubris throughout the Fallout franchise, it's the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, Elder Maxon has a slight Luddite streak when it comes to the Institute, but my point is, even if the Pridwin isn't as safe as my car, even though it's a warship that they have to expect will be shot at on occasion, they have the mindset to believe they have it under control. And that's why it makes perfect sense that cost and lift would trump safety when the Brotherhood was deciding on whether to use hydrogen or helium. Even though, obviously, yes, uh, in all but one of the faction endings, that does turn out to be a fatal mistake. Anyway, I'll see you next time.